How's it going everyone? I hope you're having an actually great day today. I am so far and today is obviously some more Fallout 4. It's a quest guide today and it is on the quest Confidence Man. If you've never heard of this quest, if you've ever listened to Diamond City Radio uh, on this game, then you know Travis Miles. He's like really shy, really quiet. He's like, um, uh, hi, uh, uh, um, you know, if you've ever played through Fallout 4 the very first time you hear this, it's kind of cringy. First time I thought this, I'm like, oh my god, this guy is a loser. Why? But, um, actually, he's not, because you can do this quest and fix that. So he's more open, broad, about the situation. Well, he, you know what I mean. Yeah, he's also a lot better on updating the news and stuff like that. So, also, I think it adds, like, two or three more songs. So let's start this off. You will need to go to a shack over there. And I'm pretty sure this is you should do this first before you do any of the other steps. So go over there, and I'll be right back once I'm over there. Super shy. If you've never listened to the radio station this before. radio station? Um, um, okay. Well, <laughs> Just listen well, to it. Uh, you'll notice there aren't any other ones. So... Okay, I've had I've had enough of that. So the next step you need to do is go to the dugout in. And doing that you should talk to the dean and something else. If you saw um on my way here, if you saw talk to the bro bro I can't Bobov or whatever the last name is, brothers, that is another step because I forgot to save before I did this, so kind of a, a little bit ahead of the game. So go down, make your way down here. Read that interview you gave. And you said go in there and talk to the dean and then just for like a second or two, just have like go in their conversation dialogue and just like go in the barter, then leave and then leave here. Then go back to Travis's um shack, talk to him. Despite like just what was in there. Like this guy. Don't know you scabber. How we're not in a real conversation, but it he says something. Then you'll talk to a guard, or the guard will talk to you and say, Hey, I think those brothers are looking for you. So you come to the dugout in, okay? And they'll say some things. Oh, uh, here we go. Quiet, you think? All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. It's not that bad. Blah. You don't know what you're talking about. This DJ Travis, he is bad for our business. He makes all the customers unhappy, so we must turn off radio. But Dean... It's true! Don't listen to my brother! Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. That's a horrible idea. I tell you, it would be easier than you think. You just have to talk to... Uh, you just have to talk him into following you out of town. Honestly, oh, the Dean, what the enough. hell has gotten into you? The Dean isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Right. We're all just having a laugh. Hey, okay, good. <laughs> I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yet Dean and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, Dean. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. <clears throat> okay, as you just saw there, that was me speaking to Yafin. Wait, who's... You ain't gonna last okay, that's the Dean. So don't get the other one. Just stop. So just... Okay. You're a hussy, Scarlet. Hi there. You can so just follow him back to the room and talk about the plan to start the quest. I'll do that in a second. Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike. 
I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Believe he is capable of more. You know what works well for this? <laughs> A bar fight. Ever been in one? I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. This one's a pretty tough cookie. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in Dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a dive for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and he kills who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. Okay, so I just talked to Vadim. So as you just see, well, I mean, so I'm dumb. You have to wait here until 6 o'clock. Now, where is Piper? Oh. If you have a follower on standby, I hey. recommend you that you get rid of them. Like, just send them off somewhere. Because, uh, during the brawl, he or she or whoever it is will attack them, and they will die. That doesn't affect the quest at all, but, uh, just because. Hey. Hmm? Piper. You look like you could use a pick-me-up. It's time we called it quits. Sure thing. I'll head home. Okay, so I just wait till 6 o'clock. If it's earlier than 6 o'clock p.m. that same day, then you can just wait till then. Yeah, so I'll wait five hours. And they should be coming in here. Yeah, they're all here. Walk, come on, people. Okay, so I've noticed a uh, glitch I've had well, ah, yes, multiple times. You. Famous um, when Travis and this guy, Hussy Number One, are talking, sometimes they'll say the same line over and over until you talk to Travis. So, you know, I'll show you what I mean. So, let's wait till Travis comes because he's slow. Oh, by the way, you do not want. Any kind of weapon what? you want to purchase. What's this about? Oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. <laughs> yeah! I'm just, I'm, I'm only here for a drink. I don't like you, and I don't like your radio. What you gonna do about it? You tell him. I'm just, I'm, I'm only here for a drink. I don't like you, and I don't okay, like so as you your see, radio. As you see, it says the what same line over, so you just want to talk to Hey there, pal. Travis. Oh, it's it's you. I'm here to help. I'm here to give you a hand. I, 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 I'm not really looking to cause, you know, trouble. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Let's do something. Let's do something about this, then. No, no, I, I... That might end badly. With these men, it could... Well, it, it could... It could turn violent. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it will work... Um, okay, that's... Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you going to say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? I'll, I'll beat you up! 
Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Why Get lost. Okay, so now we're in the fight. And then we're gonna beat the bejesus out of them. Security. So they won't oh, die, God. but they'll go down like that. Bullshit, and man. Just I'll tell you. bullshit. This is bullshit, man. This is not what I signed up for. This ain't over. You hear me? I I don't I don't uh Okay. I usually don't Got for bothering me. Get lost. This is why. This is why. Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it! I knew you had it in you. I can't, I can't believe it. You were right. Oh, I've, I've got things to do now. Listen, really, I, I can't thank you enough. Okay, so Travis's part is mostly done. Now we just talk to Yafin. <laughs> I mean, Vadim. I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of full group plan? Bring it on. Good attitude. It's nice indeed. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her. And I see that sometimes, if someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? Okay, now I have to go find that hussy. She's by Travis's uh, trailer, so I'll be right back. Fight for her, intimidate her, or persuade her. I'm gonna quick save because I like the persuade. Miss? I'm on a break right now. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he. Did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was. Well, he was brave. Crap. Yeah? Absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Okay. God. So, the uh, threat and persuade and bribe, I'm just gonna hit persuade. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Okay. At this point, you might want to re-equip the weapon. So, we need to go back to the dugout inn. So we can freaking... There we go. Find... The crap! Okay, over here. Find my way back. And, uh, you actually might want to get your follower back. I'm using Piper. So... At this point, you have to go kill people, including the two. You'll get used to Diamond City security get out of the way, being unhelpful. Guy. Just ignore him, like I. Hey, Yafin. This is terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. We've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. They took him. They took Vadim. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed them money, that they had a deal. He wouldn't pay, and then they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out? You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. I'll bring him back, Yafin. Count on it. Please, just bring him back. He's an idiot, but he's my brother. I'd go with you, but someone has to stay here. Talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. 
Okay, so now we go back to the Travis. Wait, wait. Yo. So now we go back to the Travis. And I'll be right back. Hey there. What's going on? I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. No, Travis. This is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Look, I don't... I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. All right. Good. I didn't, I didn't wanna have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brew, and then we can bring Vadim back. I'll, I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. Okay, here is this crappy butt. Let's talk to Travis. Wait one second. Oh, thank God. You're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? Not likely. Chances are at least one of us won't make it out of there. Oh, okay. Not, uh, any, uh... Uh-huh. You shoot first, ask questions later. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> let's get him. Okay, so let's go inside. That, that is my grandmother. Power Tom is dumb. There's got some loot over here. There's some stuff. Uh, usually they have. Oh, there's secret fences here, by the way. But you have to get out of the way. Say so there's some med tests in here. Now we talk to this dumb nut. <coughs> Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are true friend. You're welcome, Vadim. We weren't gonna leave you to these guys. You are a good man. <laughs> these idiots had caps and gems just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Okay, so Travis, now... I am surprised.
just to wait see and you crush here. it and here in a minute, tell us so. Hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. <clears throat> Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. This is all just another day for me. Yeah, I'm sure. Not me, though. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. Okay, so that was the quest. Confidence, man. Now the effects of the radio won't be immediately. It may take a in-game day or two. So, yeah. That is how you can complete the Confidence Man guide, and I hope you enjoyed. And see you next week's video, or my double upload this week. I don't know. But, uh, peace out. Have a good day.